you ended up here as a result of stuff going on. What mm-hmm. was going on? When I got into seventh grade, there was an incident where I was taken advantage of by mm. someone who I was like best friends with. Deep down, it was breaking me. Kaylee, it's always fun to sit down with you, and and, um, you ended up here as a result of stuff going on, right? What was Mm -hmm. going on? Well, I mean, when I got into seventh grade, there was an incident where I was taken advantage of by Mm. someone who I was, like, best friends with. Yeah. And so after that, I kind of um, put up a lot of walls, and but I just acted like nothing happened and nothing affected me. And so, but then I started finding my value in other people. So when I was a freshman in high school, I um, just did whatever anyone wanted me to do just to get them to like me or want to be with me. And you're in a small town, Mm -hmm. and that small town is uh, its probably like a small town that we live in here that there's not a whole lot to do, so you got to make fun, Mm -hmm. you know, to go do things like... You know, take a big ladder and put it up next to your window and sneak out and stuff. Yeah. You ever done anything like that? Mm-hmm. Oh, I imagine mm-hmm. that. Yeah, yeah, your dad was telling me how you carried this huge ladder. <laughs> yeah. But that, you must have been desperate to connect with people. Yeah. And why do you think you were so desperate? Well, I like hanging out with other people and I like being with people. And my parents didn't want me having my phone a lot and yeah. during the day they wouldn't want me to hang out with my friends or anything because they didn't trust me yeah. and I broke their trust a lot so they took away a lot of things to me that wow. were important to me and that I loved so like I just like my friends and I mean my phone and everything like that and so I just did whatever it took to be able to be with people wow. whether it's good or bad people. and so the point they take away your phone so you learn to connect with people in another way. Mm-hmm. You know, ain't that funny? Yeah. That, I mean, and everybody gets this idea, well, ground everybody from their phone. But I go, if you do that, they're going to connect in other ways mm-hmm. because you're made that way. Yeah. I mean, you're truly made to be in relationship with other people. Mm-hmm. And so when somebody violates that, you know, then it, then it kind of messes up your concept of what a relationship is. Do you think that you lived in fear that you're going to be taken advantage of again? Yes, but I didn't try and... Let it take over me. I didn't try and think about it a lot. Yeah. But, I mean, your values, you know, you you set your values. Now you're violating your very values. Mm -hmm. Was that, did you go to sleep at night thinking, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah. And and tell me about that. Well, I just feel like I just lost myself, and I wasn't being true to who I was. And Mm. I don't know. I definitely was violating my own rules and my own standards. And so you come like down and eat breakfast in the morning and did you sit there and just feel guilty all the time? Mm-hmm. or? Yeah. And then what would that make you do when you started to feel guilty? Well, I really wanted to talk to someone about it because yeah. I don't know, but I couldn't. And so I just kept going on with my life. But deep down, it was breaking me. And I hated it. Breaking you in what way? Um, because I felt like I was feeling as a daughter and like I felt like I was disappointing my parents and letting them down and not being who they wanted me to be yeah so So did that take you further down that path where you just started beating yourself up more and doing more stupid things yeah (laughs) yeah so how did your parents respond I mean would they come to you in a loving way or would they be mad at you all the time or were you grounded all the time or I was just always grounded they just took everything away yeah. But it just made me even more mad because I wanted all my stuff. So, And it just went, nothing, nothing was working. Mm-hmm. So when they said, okay, we're going to send you off, what did you say? I told them that I'd get my stuff together and that I'd start doing better. But after that talk, I just kind of forgot about it. And wow. Wow. What do you think your parents could have done different? I mean, do you love your parents? Yeah. I mean, and you know they love you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. And, I mean, you have wonderful parents. and. Mm-hmm. But do you think they could have done anything different to stop what was happening? Well, I feel like part of this stuff was on me and my fault, but they probably shouldn't have grounded me so much and taken everything away from me because with that, I the only people that would want to hang out at night was the bad people. And so it kind of got me into that group and everything. So yeah, yeah. if it weren't for that, I probably would have just... 
So what should they have done then? I'm not really sure. Probably just like cut off a finger or <laughs> you know pull shave your head. I mean, I, I think parents get stuck and they don't know what to do when yeah. it's not working. You know, and I, but that's I just wonder what options do they have then? You know, they just took everything away from me. Yeah, and I feel like if they wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't have wanted to rebel against them so much because. Yeah. They, after they cut everything off from me, it was just, they wanted so much out of me, but I couldn't give it to them because I didn't want to. Yeah. Because. Because you're mad. Yeah. Because they took everything away from me. So why don't I just take everything away from so them? So then it did get where you were pretty intentional about hurting them. Mm -hmm. You know, do you think that was part of the motivation? I'm just going to show you. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. So how does somebody so sweet as you, <laughs> you know, have that attitude where you're kind of going, I'll show you. I mean, that, that's kind of a, that's a, that's different. I don't see that side of you. Yeah. I was just so desperate oh. and I wanted them to listen to me, but I mean, they did, but not in the way I wanted them to. Yeah. So I wanted to get their attention and maybe listen to me, but. Okay. Looking back for you, could you have done something different to keep it all from happening? Maybe just listen to them Yeah. <laughs> because they were right more than me and i mean <laughs> Wait, they probably want to hear you say that again what is it um, <laughs> is that hard but, to say that they were right in what they were doing not really so much anymore back then yeah but yeah. now it's just i don't know i think of them as higher up than me now and yeah. back then i didn't respect them at all wow but now wow. i do yeah I have a lot of respect for them. Well, I mean, you I mean, you have a neat family set up. I mean, it's unique. You don't see many families that are as close as you guys. Mm -hmm. um, your dad's fun, your mom's a jewel. I mean, it, <laughs> I mean, it's your brothers are kind of cool. <laughs> you know, I mean, and I mean, you've got a neat family and and uh, you're going to cherish that even more in the days mm -hmm. ahead. And so, you know, I I applaud your parents for doing something. What do you see as the major change that you see in your life? Um, I see a better future for our family because if I wouldn't have come here, my me and my siblings probably wouldn't have talked when I grew up. Like we wouldn't keep in touch or anything. Wow. And that's what my parents want for us, to grow up and be close and be able to support them when they get old and be there for them. But if it weren't for this place, I probably, that probably wouldn't happen. Wow. Wow. Well, that's cool. Well, look, it's been fun sitting with you. It's always fun yeah, sitting down and too. talking with you. It's fun to hear how you're growing and, and what's changing in your life. But, but thanks for the time. Yep, thanks. You bet.